Hello, my name is Paul Bevan from the NX Product Marketing Team and I'd like to discuss with you today the new and enhanced capabilities inside the latest release of NX for repairing scanned information. We're going to take a look at how we can very quickly repair, patch and make good a imperfect scan body so that we can use it for downstream processes. So in the graphics window we have an imported mesh body that's come in as two separate convergent bodies. We can also take a look at the makeup of the facet geometry by highlighting the facet edges. This visual aid is particularly useful to highlight areas that might require a remesh to improve the mesh quality. In this instance the mesh density looks decent so there'll be no need for a remesh. However, you can see we have other issues to resolve, namely to repair the holes. So let's take a look at the first hole that we want to fix. You can see that this is a little bit more than a hole, it's an actual gap between two areas of the mesh body. So we're going to take a look and use one of the new fill hole options called close notch to start the process of repairing. As the name suggests, this new option allows us to fill in a notched hole in our mesh body. So the process to fill in this area is simply to select the facet body and then select two points that we want to fill between and then modify the smoothness. So we'll go from a linear to a tangent transition. So very quick and very easy to fill in that area with a quality transition too. So as I said, this is the start of the process. So now let's take a look at how we can fill in the area between the two holes. So this time we'll use another new option under fill hole, this time called connect holes. Again, we select the facet body, but this time select the two boundaries of the holes that we want to connect. And again, it's as quick as that. Again, we can modify the smoothness. In this case, we want it to be a little fuller, so we change it from a tangent to a curvature transition. And again, you can see how smooth a transition we can get. So using those two new options, it's taken us no time to repair that particular area of the mesh body. So let's move on to the next area of concern. In this case, we're going to take a look at how we can bring together the two separate convergent bodies. To do this, we'll take a look at another one of the options in the fill hole command, this time called fill island. The process for repairing this area is that we first select both the convergent bodies and then we select the boundary of the outer hole and then the boundary of the inner island. As with the previous options, we can control the smoothness between both of the convergent bodies. So we've completed this repair and just to get a better idea of how good a quality transition we've got, we'll switch off the face edges temporarily. You can see how smooth the area is between what was two separate convergent bodies. So I've got two other repair options that I'd like to show you. The first is not a new capability, it's just a new user interaction, which is going to be bridge gap. So the way this works now is that we select the facet body and then two vertices on one edge and then two other vertices on the opposite edge and the gap is filled in between. Again, we have all the control that you've seen in the other repair options. The final fill hole enhancement is to do with selection. In this case, we've still got a number of holes that we need to repair. So we select the fill hole option, but this time the selection method is going to be all holes. Notice how all of the remaining holes 
have been filled with a tangent smoothness. Again, if we rotate the body around, we can see now that all of the repairs have been completed and what was two separate convergent sheet bodies is now one convergent solid body that we can use further downstream, either for manufacturing with 3D printing or we could send it off to an analysis tool for doing structural tests. So just to recap, we've looked at a number of new options in this latest release of NX with respect to the fill hole command, a tool that we can use to very quickly repair imported mesh data so that it can be made ready for other downstream design processes or for moving into analysis or manufacture. I'd like to thank you for your time and attention.